welcome back to our annual gift swap bar last year because we are here with our 50 pounds stocking swap have we always done 50 pounds i think no the first few years we did 20 quid so we've upped it we've, we've upped, upped the, the budget. budget so these are our stockings however we both have several gifts that are not in the stockings because they don't like fit this was not going to go in the stocking realistically this is essentially a 50 pound budget and this is predominantly the only gifts we're really given this year we're both having one special gift to give on christmas day but the reason we've done this is because there was just nothing specific that we wanted no we just figured we didn't want to waste money, money on and pointless stuff. we're trying really hard as i mentioned in the last video to save up to go traveling so that is the reason why there's not going to be like crazy mad gifts or these are still lovely gifts though to be fair this one this will be probably more exciting than christmas oh, yeah. day oh yeah oh definitely yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is going up on christmas eve eve so happy christmas eve and enjoy christmas eve tomorrow as you are a lady it's uh -huh. ladies first uh -huh. so you can open the first gift oh thank you this is the first gift of christmas as well it is the first gift of christmas so you can either start with the stocking or there are five here quite a I think, lot i think there's only like three in there right. or maybe let's actually swap stocking so here's your gift thank you it is a stocking swap after all it is a stocking um, swap and given that it is i'm gonna start with it okay good idea i feel like i'm not gonna lie as soon as you start unwrapping all of yours you're gonna know what they are anyway no you... idea what that is that's heavy anyway let's carry on right yoga right the first gift of christmas <laughs> By the way, a lot of mine are quite like jokey. It's either jokey gifts or like practical gifts. Okay. I think generally of the ones I've got you, I think there's more practical actually. Which oh, really? is weird for me because I usually buy your jokey stuff. Yeah. Are these practical? Technically they are practical. <laughs> they will cure hunger. I don't know if you can see them. Mint chocolate rolls or sticks. Do you put them in a drink? I reckon you could. To like... Um, you could probably do that. Yeah, I don't know what the sense is. Dark chocolate, mint flavoured fondant filling. Yeah, you probably could. <laughs> First gift of Christmas. First gift of Christmas. Your turn, your turn, your My turn. turn. I much prefer giving. I much prefer watching people open gifts. So. Yeah, no, I agree, I agree. All right, start with this one. I think that's a real boring one, but yeah, you can do. It's a notebook. I was thinking for like your office, Tom works from home, so like, you know, you've got stationery, you've got a little desk set up, you've got a little... Really handy for graphics, if you quickly like drawing up an idea before you do it. I'm gonna go for this book shaped item. It's not a book. <laughs> well, it feels like a book and it looks like a book, but it might not be a book. It might not be a book. Yeah, actually it might not be. Why? Because there's something else that isn't a book, that might look like a book. Well, this is a book and this I'm really book. excited about this book. Guys, I have had my eye on this book ever since I saw Jack Edwards recommend it. This is Small Pleasures. How did you know I wanted this one? See, whenever you mention something, I make like mental notes and I write it in my phone <laughs> notes and I'll forget. I um, don't think I mentioned this. I walk around, we walk around bookshops a lot, much to Tom's. Even if you just pick, go in a book, a book, go in a book? Go in a bookshop and pick up a book and you're like, oh, that looks good and then didn't pick it up and you're like, Oh, that's really pure and wholesome. Did you actually do that? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Right. Your guy. My go. We're going stocking first. Oh, I just went from okay. the pile. Oh, I'm going to go with this heavy one. Okay. Because I'm really intrigued by this. The wrapping paper. Ugh, I've just done a dreadful job. Oh, this is a good, good picture. I, I saw the label. Don't deserve an ass label. Right, I've got this vision of caramel syrup just Whiting across the living room right now. <laughs> that was a workout, I'm actually sweating. Held it up with pride. God, I think I've earned some. Yeah. I always gone about caramel syrup and I actually thought this was something that you'd forgot. No. Um, I make so mental lines. Spot on. What do you think it would taste like if you drank a bit neat? Let's do it. Yeah. That's just liquid sugar. Cool. Thank you. That's okay. That is a really good gift. Well, now that we've gone through that palaver, we're going to open this. Oh, back it. From opening that. All right, yeah, sorry. This is wrapped in different paper. Why is that? Uh, it's not, to be fair. I started wrapping in this and I ran out. It looks like a plant pot. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, okay. Oh, that is so <laughs> nice. It was just one of those gifts that... I just saw and I was like, didn't have a, didn't have a real letter, but literally the M was so obvious to me. Like I looked at it and the M was there. <laughs> Where's was it like, from? I've got to get you that. It was from B&M. Oh, no way. Well, that is a good gift. And it is handy if you're going out early to take in your car. That's what I always think about these. I am a fan. Thank you very much. Wait, hold on. There is a colour theme. These teals is. are the exact same shade. Yeah, they are. Everything is blue. Everything is awesome. Everything is blue and it's 2020. Two nearly. The next gift, this is not like exciting. Already partly opened. Told you, the wrapping paper job, just dreadful. Practical, very practical. It's some Gillette shaving foam. Hey, the most exciting Christmas gift you ever saw. Maybe by the end of next year you'll have a full beard. That's optimistic. Yeah. What is this book shaped item? It might not be a book. It is a book. It's Ooh, a book. Good choice. I have read all of the others in this series. This is You'll Be the Death of Me. And these are all like kind of young adult murder fiction. Can I just say, whenever there's a book that's got like 
the edges it painted. Out. It just looks nice. It's just graphic inspiration to uh -huh. look at. It's just Tom like... goes into a bookshop for a total other reason. Then I go into a bookshop. I go in and I'm like, oh my god, I want all the books. Tom goes in and he's like, I like that font. I like that book cover. I like those colours together. I like the design of that. And I'm like, okay. And that's where you work in graphics. But if you were to ever release a book, you'd have a nice looking book. I would, wouldn't I? Thank you very much. I really like that. I am very excited to read these. I'm on a reading hype at the moment, guys. I've really enjoyed reading recently. You'll probably finish them by the end of the night. Probably finish them by the end of the month. But I plan to use the week between Christmas and New Year. A reading? Yeah. Like a reading week? Yeah, but no, that makes it sound miserable in like a uh, stressful university time. Ooh. Ooh, another wild, exciting it thing. moves. Right. You can never go wrong with links. Never. Have you heard of that before? No. Right? What, so it's actually for tattoos? Yeah, it's for tattoos. Wow, I've never seen that before. It's uh, supposedly to make the ink in your body like look brighter because your tattoo's quite big. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever heard of this or seen anything similar? This is a really common thing that we've just never heard of. I've never heard of that. I thought I just assumed it was Lynx Africa. What is this square? It's actually a cube. Cuboid, actually. No way. No way. No way. No way. This is a great gift. My dad will steal this off me. That was another mental note one. Yorkshire gold. Because I always like forgot which one you used. Yeah. Because you all have different ones in We the actually house. do. So even if I've like, come down to make Molly a cup of tea in the morning, which doesn't happen too often. Actually, it does. It did happen last weekend. It I know did. you made me a coffee. Yeah, I made you a coffee. But there's like three different options of tea. I think you and your dad have that, but your right. mum has the normal Yorkshire tea. No, my mum has Tetley's. Tetley's. We are a family of fussy tea drinkers, but when you're from Yorkshire, the county of tea. You've really got to get it right, you know, so. Have you ever tried the biscuit brew one? No, I haven't, but I saw it. I remember when it came out, it was really popular on Instagram. Great stocking filler, thank you very much. That's okay. Very practical. Very practical, I can make it in my... You can, and, can take my but tea it goes against the colours, because we kind of have blue, purpley greens going You're on. You're ruined it. This is a small one. <laughs> You're looking at me like, this is so disappointing. No, 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 no this no, one's no. alright. Oh, is it a wallet? Oh, wow. <laughs> It's um, it's a. To be fair, I did actually ask for this. Yeah, you did ask it's, for this. Uh, it's like a grooming set, so it's got like nail clippers. I'll do a little close up. It's quite difficult to show because it's all black. Basically, I don't know if you can see. Oh yeah, you kind of can. All of the things that you would use to keep yourself looking fresh. But I said to Molly, like, because we do a fair bit of travelling, and yeah, we, we may do. be doing even more travel. I needed something like this to take with me. So also, to really how use. many holidays have we been on where neither of us take scissors, and then there's something that you need scissors to open, and we're just like there, like with a knife or something, trying to open something. That need scissors. Only issue is I don't think they'll let me take them. Yeah, you can through... no, you can fly with nail scissors. Can you? Yeah. Oh, well, that's really handy. Yeah. Thank you very much. Is it a book? <laughs> what is this book shaped? I said. I actually have asked for books from everybody this year because that was the only thing I really wanted. Ooh, it might Ooh. not be a book. It, it might, might not, not be, be a book. book. It might not be a book. It's a 2022 desk planner. You always love your desk planners. I mean, I don't know why, because you can just put it on your phone. You always like writing it down. Tom is a person that does everything on his phone that's possible to do on your phone. I'm old school. I like writing in a diary and sending cards and <laughs> writing letters and stuff that just died out in the last century, basically. 2022 desk planner. I like the pattern on it. It's nice, isn't it? It's Ooh, different. it's from Paper Chase. Very nice, very bougie. Was this half the budget from Paper Chase? Probably. <laughs> Probably, was, Probably not it? far off. I can't remember. It's expensive in there. Mega. Your girl. I remember what this is. This is like the main one. Nice t-shirt. It is. It's all set. It's all set. This must have been half your budget too. <laughs> you knew about this one. I did. I had an idea. For two reasons. One, you were there when I bought it. We're not going to sugarcoat that. And two, I put it on my Instagram last night. You did, and I saw it on your yeah, Instagram. Yeah, you saw it on my Instagram. So even if you'd forgot, because I actually bought this ages ago. I really like all sense. Their t-shirts are really nice. They're Quality just basic. Quality But yeah, really nice. So add it to my collection. Add it to your collection of black clothes. Yeah, I don't really wear a lot of colours. Tom even is, this is very... Tom is Mr. Monochrome. If you yeah. see Tom in a colour, one, it'll it's only be, day. it'll be a block <laughs> colour, and two, yeah, it's just, it very rarely happens. He's wearing his Christmas jumper today, which is on the verge of cringy. Um, cringy, do you know, do you know what it reminds me of? What? Have you seen Bridget Jones? Yes, I have seen And Bridget Colin Firth is wearing, like, the old man jumper. I think it's Bridget Jones, it might not be Bridget Jones. It's definitely Colin Firth. I don't remember though. it. Though. Well, I'll insert the screenshot, it gives me those vibes in the best way. It's a Christmas jumper. It's cuddly. Where is your Christmas jumper? I don't actually have a Christmas jumper. I know, it's really sad. Well, is there one in my stocking? There might be one in the stocking. <laughs> oh, another cute one. Is it another, is it more tea? I don't think it could possibly be more tea. <laughs> Wait, is it the biscuit version? <laughs> why, why have you got me tea? Infinite supply of tea. There should be 80 tea bags there. Is that right? I heard that last about a week. I oh, know, 160 tea bags. 160, right, that's two weeks. I have about three cups of tea a day. Is that a lot? Oh, I love this. This is my personal favorite. What's his name? Is it a sprout? Oh, it's a tomato. 
Tiny, tiny Tom. 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 Isn't it cute? Oh, I really like that. It's from the Aldi advert, if Look. you guys couldn't tell. The Kevin the Carrot range. Old Tiny Tom. My He's got a little hat. My mum actually picked that out for you. Oh, I love that. Tiny Tom. She was like, isn't it weird that it's called Tom? And I was like, no, I think it's a tomato. And she was like, no, it's a radish. And I was like, it's called Tiny Tom. It's meant to be a tomato. I really like that. It's a joke, but it's funny. Oh, this is not wrapped. It's not wrapped, because they kind of wrapped it. A little, little cheeky number from. A little, little. A little summon summon from La Visa. I love La Visa. If you don't know what it is, it's like the best jewelry shop ever. Oh my gosh, I need these so badly. You have dropped a few hints about a nose stud. Try the best. Basically, I wanted to take my nose ring out and go back to a stud ages ago, but I've lost my stud. Obviously, it's quite hard to like keep track of a tiny thing like that, especially when you're as unorganized as I am. So I couldn't swap it and I didn't have any other like rings to change it to, but the ring I have is so wonky, isn't it? You always seem to <laughs> do like... stuff to your nose accessories. <laughs> accessories? Like... Jewelry. Loki a square. So I got this one because it had six different options. Wow. So surely there's one in there. Guys, they are tiny, but there's six different options, which is actually really good. And we're back in the room. Oh, thank you so much. They're great gifts. I actually really like those. Thank you. Your turn. My turn. Two left. Is that right? Yep, that's right. This is my favourite. Oh, what's this? Oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> it's a llama. And do you know why it's that colour? Because of Rosie. No, that's what Harry said when I showed him. Because that was the one I had. Because your llama yeah, that you yeah. walked was dark brown. Yeah. Do you remember what it was called? Mr. Biggles. Mr. Biggles. Look, guys, we uh, we walked llamas in the Lake District one time, and now Tom has his own little llama. I mean, I bought this from the toy shop, but if you put... <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> Seven. This is... This is my four-year-old boyfriend with his teddies. You put batteries in it, it walks by itself. Never. Yeah. Rosie would be terrified. Yeah, I did think about the puppy. I thought it was nearly as big as the puppy, but... For now, Tiny Tom can ride the llama. Yeah, that was my last minute gift. Where did you go for that? And how did you even stumble I, across a... I was just accidentally in the entertainer. You know how that happens. And they have a llama collection. They had not just one, they had like four different coloured llamas. I have the last gift of Christmas. Is that the last one? Oh, yeah, it is. Foil bloody wrapping paper. It's also really rubbish. There's no such thing as a rubbish gift if it's off of you. Oh, that was crap. What is this? It looks like Vix. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You've got me a tub of No, Vicks. no, no. I actually thought it was quite a good idea. I can't open it. Oh my, Ow, my finger just got trapped in it. Please stop buying foil wrapping paper. <laughs> Wait, is it Vix? It is, isn't it? I don't have a cup. It's not Vicks. I love Vicks though. I really like the smell of it. I would have Vicks just when I'm not ill. Like, I really like the smell of it. Better not wrap everybody's Christmas presents in this paper. Well, luckily no one else has got any, so... <laughs> no way! Not that me. is a really good idea, actually. I thought it was a good idea. So if you're ill... Yeah, you just burn it in your room. It's it's like a Wix... No. Wix, Vicks, <laughs> a Vicks. Wix. It's a Wix candle! It's a Vix candle. But I don't have a, a cold or a cough or You a... don't have one yet. <laughs> <laughs> but mm. when you do... Well, I literally just said I like the smell of it anyway. Mm, exactly, so if you just want to burn it in your room, it is. It reminds me of being, of being a child. Like... I just saw it and I thought it was kind of funny, but also kind of practical. Well, if you want a Vicks candle, I'm going to hedge my bets that this is from B&M. It is from B&M. Yeah, so get yourself to B&M if you fancy a Vicks vapor rub candle. But you are right, if you are ill, it's nice to be able to breathe it in rather than having it on your chest. Sometimes when it's on your chest, it's not very nice. Right, well, we've gone for a similar theme for our last gift. What, like it's medical? It's a giant Vicks gift set. Wicks. <laughs> <laughs> this is so random, what the hell? Baileys, you can never go wrong with Baileys. It's not Baileys. It's a Baileys candle. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Do you reckon it actually smells of Baileys? Well, because I thought when I went to your room the other day when I was in your room. You didn't like that no, smell right. like candle. Tom has this candle that smells like tobacco. It doesn't. It's meant to smell like wood, but it doesn't. I uh, I got scent it and it's something I've just never burnt. So I was like, right, I'll burn that candle finally. And it's Get a bit... you, Mr. Influencer. Yeah, I know. I got it gifted. Did you not? It just smells a bit... a bit earthy. And I think yeah. I just was like, no, you need something more festive than that right now. I bet these are nice. Should we have one? This is the gift set. If you're interested, guys, it's actually from Primark. I, I think we should have a truffle each. Have a truffle Go on each. then, yeah, let's have a truffle each. All of my gifts, guys, are the same colour scheme, pretty much. How nice are they? Right, I'm going to say it now. I don't like Bailey's. Mm, I need it, but you're going to have it, and you're going to deal with it. Okay, ready? Should we do a little cheers? Yeah, sure. Cheers. No. What a waste of a truffle. You just sang. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, mmm, and you were like, mmm. That's everything. That is everything. Are you happy? I am happy. I am actually really happy. It's a random collection of nice gifts, useful gifts, 
And a tomato and a llama. I mean, I can see it now. I think Rosie will be all over Tiny Tom. Right, so when we got Tiny Tom, you didn't have Rosie. So that really wasn't mm. meant as a dog toy, but I it will was let her have it. <laughs> it was meant for me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for my gifts. I really like them. I actually think, you know what, these are great. I thought they were a good idea. I've never got tea as a gift before, but I drink so much of it that that is a really <laughs> sensible... That's what I thought. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. This was fun to film, wasn't it? It was, it was really fun. It and was. And I think it just gets us in the festive spirit. Obviously, this is kind of our main, like, Christmas gift swap between the two of us. This isn't just for YouTube. Like, this is our main Christmas gifting session. There are genuinely two gifts that Molly is getting on Christmas Day, and I think the same for me. Yeah, there are two. I will put that in the vlog. I'm going to vlog, like, over Christmas. But that's why we put this up so close to Christmas Day itself, because, you know, it's just getting us in the festive spirit. So thank you for my present. Thank you for my present. Yeah, we're going to end this video here. I have the most lovely Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. This is the last video before the big day, so I hope whatever you're up to, you have the most lovely time. Like, <laughs> subscribe, leave a comment. Yeah, do leave a comment. We love reading your comments. We love you reading your comments. comments don't you? People are really nice, generally speaking. <laughs> Happy New Year. No, they'll see us before. <laughs> Happy Christmas. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Okay. <laughs> did you like them? I did like them very, yeah. very much.